What I'm about to tell you is the story of how we got our biggest 5 star Cape Buffalo ever. I first noticed this buffalo about one month ago. He was out here and he was actually a huge 4 star Cape Buffalo. I wanted to get him, but I also wanted him to get bigger. So what we ended up doing was coming back here every single day and spending a good 2-3 hours to try and get the time to go by in hopes of him growing. Well, I didn't think it was ever going to happen. And then last night, I was hunting from 10 o'clock at night until 6 in the morning. I actually fell asleep with my computer still on. I woke up in the morning and when I went back to the exact same spot that we'd last seen that buffalo, sure enough, he's grown to a five star bull cape buffalo. Now all we have to do is try and get in range to take him down with the compound bow. This is not going to be easy. Oh my god, here they come. Here they come. They're less than 150 yards out and they're gonna feed right in our direction. Where is our big five star? There he is right there. Wow. What a heck of an amazing setup we have right here. So what we're gonna try and do is actually get on top of this big rock right here. That way when they come in, we'll have a little bit of a better viewpoint in order to get an awesome shot. And there's our big bull. Oh my God. So he's actually facing the opposite direction at these buffalo here. And we don't have any cover. So we got to try and slide over here, get into a little bit of cover. There's a tiny bit of brush right here. And I'm really hoping that it's going to give us some cover. All right, we made it. So let's see what happened here. If we crouch up, we absolutely can't see anything. But, oh, that's not a bad setup. The only thing is they're gonna be right on top of us before we're actually able to even get a shot. All right, let's find our big one. So I'm pretty sure he went over on the back side of that hill. And eventually he's going to follow these buffalo. Oh my god, they're getting close. Yeah, so they're on the back side of that ridge. I don't know where our big five is, but... We got buffalo right on top of us here. Look at how close he's coming. Oh my god. All right, so he's walking right past us. Now, if only the big five would come in. That's a good mature to take down. And honestly, if we could drop him without spooking the rest of this herd, we probably would. 25 yards out from us. I feel like we have no other choice. should have been a hard shot no well I don't know what just happened but uh, for some reason he's calm he's going really slow hold on I gotta find out if that's actually good blood or not that is not good blood it's really bad blood all right guys well that was extremely scary but what happened is these buffalo caught our scent and took off the opposite direction however the scary part is after you take down an animal that's a mature or well that's as high as it can get but after you take down a mature animal out of a herd what happens is the biggest animal will typically disappear i don't know why that's a thing but it definitely is because we've done that before and we've taken down, I don't know, like a two-star mature mule deer. 
and we've lost a five star or even a four star mature mule deer so that's why we got super lucky that we didn't make a good shot on that buffalo i mean because honestly had that buffalo dropped then we'd probably never see this five star again so fast forward time it's the next day we're back out here this time we're coming in from the opposite direction up on top of this ridge looking down into this huge valley the good thing is we can see really far and we also have a great wind however the thing that's not so good is that they're on the opposite side of this water hole so basically we have to hope that they come this direction otherwise we're going to be doing some long distance shooting all right but there they are right out there about 250 yards out and i believe our giant five star is right over there oh my god there he is so he's 250 yards out right there and as you can see they are kind of feeding up this direction we got to be careful that they don't bust us now you see how this female's look in this direction we got to make sure that we don't move when she's looking this way there's a really good chance they might all feed this way right down the bottom of this canyon if only we could figure out what direction they're gonna head next we would have a pretty good advantage on them but the problem is they change their minds so quickly that you just never know which way they're gonna go see as you can see here it looks like they're starting to feed down this channel again for a second time but if we plan on that and then they turn right then we're not going to get a shot so i'm thinking our best bet is to just stay up here on the high and hope that they cross past at that point then we'll make a decision on whether to drop down don't tell me again oh my god oh my god this is nearly impossible. And there's our giant five-star bull. The thing is, even if a miraculous miracle happens and these buffalo walk into range, somehow we still need to pick out this huge five-star bull out of this massive herd. So not only do we have to watch for these Gemsbuck, we have to watch for every single one of these Cape Buffalo and the hyena. Ooh. But this big five bull is coming this direction. He actually may come down here into range. I'll tell you what, if he gets into 80 yards, that's going to be in range for a shot. Just pay attention to every single animal here that's moving around. And once they look this way, we got to freeze. Oh my god, there he is right there. Oh my god, he's almost in range, you guys. He's 120 yards right there. If we get 20 yards closer, we'll have a shot. Whoa, we also might not end up alive either after that. <laughs> oh, look, he's locked on. He's locked on. 115 yards. All right, that was a close one problem is we literally cannot get any closer without falling down this cliff and i'm not sure which way this thing wants to go they're going that way okay they're going that way wait 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 Ooh, are you coming back this way yeah he's coming this way he's coming this way all right we gotta drop down all right we're gonna stay behind this big boulder <sighs> oh my god there he is he's right there 120 yards out only problem is this one's looking right at us come on just keep feeding this way please this one's coming right towards us here perfect he's about to be in range 90 yards but our huge five is right there 115 yards going the opposite direction what i'm hoping for is that maybe he turns around and follows this one which i don't really see why he would but that doesn't mean that it might not happen. He's 100 yards. 20 yards closer, we'll have a shot. Oh, 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 o
This is not good. We got a kudu watching us. We got a whole entire herd of capes watching us. <sighs> Just don't move. Wait, 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 wait. The big five's gonna come over and check it out. No way. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. This big five's gonna come over to go check it out. He's only 100 yards out. Just get a little bit closer. That's all we need. Hold on. These females are coming this way. If these females come this direction, he should follow. Look at the size of that thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't turn, don't turn. He wants to come. You know he wants to investigate. He wants to investigate what's happening down here. He's big and he's tough. He's saying, I'm the only one that's down here. What are you doing down here? These small ones are coming right to us here. Okay, so these ones are pretty calm. Oh my god, this male's only 50 yards out. 97 yards, 10 yards closer. That's all we need is 10 yards closer. If he comes 10 yards closer, we will have a shot. I will assure you we will have a shot if he comes just 10 yards closer. We still might have a shot here. Oh my god, there he is. He's in range. He's 80 yards out. Oh my god, he's in range. He's 80 yards right there. All he's got to do is turn broadside and we'll have a shot. That's a shot. That's not a shot. Oh, he's 60 yards. He's 62 yards right there. up down the hill what a shot 65 yards we just took down a giant five-star Cape Buffalo oh I'm so happy we put so much time and effort into getting this thing and we finally got him But it all paid off when we got to take him at 65 yards on the top of that hill and he dropped straight to the ground. Wow, that was incredible. What a special, special moment that was right there. All right, let's get ourselves a really cool picture of this thing. I am just shaking like crazy right now. Absolutely shaking like crazy. Look at that! Wow! Uh, now that is kind of incredible. Yep. That is incredible. Alright. So we'll go with that. And now, let's pick him up. Look at the texture on the horn on that thing. Wow! Alright. Let's pick him up. There's our shot. Ended up getting a double lung shot at 72 yards out. Ended up going right through the center of the lung there. Coming out the opposite side. All right, the moment of truth. It's going to be an 86% on the gene pool with a five-star trophy rating and a five-star hunt rating. Now, let's see what the trophy score is going to be. It's going to be a 475-star bull. Keep Buffalo. What a beast of a bull. Wow, that was awesome. Let's take a look at that shot. That was a 72 yard right lung shot entering. Looks like we went right through that first rib. Like it wasn't even there. All the way through the right lung. And diagonal wise too. So it's going through quite a bit of mass. Entering the little gap in between both lungs in the middle. And then entering the left lung on the opposite side. Let's see how far in it goes on this side. It actually doesn't go too far into this side, but it looks like it may have nicked an artery on the inside as well. Let's see. 
Oh, no, it missed the artery right over the top of that artery, but still did pass a pretty good ways into that second lung there. And at 72 yards, that is pretty cool. Well, you know what we're gonna do with this one. We are definitely getting this thing mounted. And we got him mounted. There we go. Finally, we got ourselves a five star Bull Cape Buffalo. And in case you guys wanna know where we're at, we're over here on the west end of the map right by this campsite here. I don't know what it's actually called, but there's three water holes. We got him right here. To be specific, we were up here, dropped down in there, and he stepped out 70 yards away, and we let one fly. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.